Hi church, happy Friday and welcome to today's digital devotion. I was listening to a podcast this morning and I thought the content was really powerful. This podcaster was talking about how he um, was at an event and there was a Q&A component and this woman stood up to ask a question and she said, um, you know, I'm a mom of three and here's my name and I feel like I also have to apologize because I'm a divorce lawyer. And he was like, wait, 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 before you've even asked your question, you're apologizing for who you are. And that is definitely um, telling about how this woman was behaving in the world, how she viewed herself and how she considered her work. And you know, he went on to talk about how, I think it's really important for us to consider the voices in our head, the narratives that we tell ourselves, the stories that we're telling ourselves about who we are and the work that we're doing and how that is or isn't valuable and impactful in the world. So I think that was really meaningful for me because as people of faith, as followers of Jesus, we should be reminding ourselves and one another constantly that the work we do in this world does matter. No matter what your job is, no matter what your role is in your family, no matter what you're doing on a daily basis, as someone who is following the teachings of Jesus, um, you are able to bring love and compassion and grace and kindness Absolutely. and forgiveness and a general sense of peace to whatever you're doing. You, you have the ability to bring redemption to work that otherwise might be dehumanizing or frustrating or negative to the world. And so, you know, he gave the example of the divorce lawyer, but it could be anything that you think, you know, my job is, is it doesn't define me because it's not a good job or, you know, the, or a stay -home the role, or someone who's retired, right. Or, or just, you know, my role in the world isn't meaningful. It's not valuable, but the truth is everything we say and do anytime we encounter someone else, including ourselves has the opportunity to shine God's love and light into the world in some meaningful way. And that is valuable. That is worthy of our time. Absolutely. I hear all the time from people that they say, you know, my work isn't as meaningful or doesn't make as much of an impact on the world as say being a pastor. People say that to us all the yeah. time. And it's so important to say, no, no Everything matter what matters. you're doing, yeah. you can do that work with mm -hmm. grace, mm -hmm. with empathy, with compassion, even if it's an industry that is defined by its lack of those characteristics, yeah. you can imbue that work. Yes. And it doesn't even have to be just our work. It can be the fact that when we're going to the park or we're going to the grocery store or we're going to the movie theater, mm -hmm. no matter what we might be doing, we can do those activities, the way we interact with people in those spaces, mm -hmm. we can imbue it with a sense of, of justice and compassion and empathy. Mm -hmm. And so, the, as you said, this is the mark of our faith. Our job as Christians, as people of faith, or just as humans trying to make the world a better place for the rest of humanity is to remember that we can do that work in every moment, in every occupation, in, in whatever it is that we're doing. Yeah. So we hope that's some food for thought today, and um, we'll see you on Sunday for another great time of worship together. Can't wait. See you then.